The kids oh, now think lobsters are gay. It's all wolves and sheep. <laughs> welcome back i am van we are all the lfr family i appreciate you guys always watching our videos and sharing and just commenting in them and everything thank you so much man we have come a long way and it's because of you all so thank you all right i have received a video to check out by brent one of my mod squads from the discord shout out to him and a great support of the channel um and this joint right here is <laughs> it's when jordan peterson tries to be andrew tate and apparently it's from the ryan long channel and i'm 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 interested in checking this out because i'm trying i'm in the i'm right now trying to learn how to do these type of write these type of scripts and skits and whatnot not necessarily acting hopefully i can grab some people who are actors who can do this because i'm not an actor i suck at acting Every time my wife and I, well, whenever I try to walk into the room and I force my wife to role play, not anything sensual or anything like that, okay? Just want to get in front of that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, when I'm trying to act, I'm a horrible, horrible actor. And I thought I would be an amazing actor when I was a kid. I thought I would be an amazing actor. But right now, I'm starting to see people on um, the internets, the tubes, doing the immaculate job with the acting and whatnot. So... We're about to check this out, y'all. Let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments. And don't forget, guys, to ask me about Bang Bang Tea. Make sure you go to LFRfamily.com to do that and support the channel. All right, let's go. Very excited to be working together again, Jordan. A uh, bit of a departure from the usual in the publishing house. Maybe just wanted to get into your creative process of what you were thinking when you wrote 12 Rules for Crushing Pussy. Well trying to figure out how they was going to tie this in how, how they was going to tie this in because jordan peterson and andrew tate are just completely different the 12 what well i've spent some time on the internet and it opened my bloody eyes to what these 304s are up to you mentioned 304s hoes huh. they're sixes it's like they think they deserve a millionaire yeah, i don't know if i follow they need to learn the harsh reality that i shouldn't be obligated to call them in the morning and it's not because my phone's broken it works just fine yeah i feel like <laughs> So he's <laughs> okay. What's so funny about this so far is that he is speaking red pill language. He's speaking red pill language about the three o fours who are the hoes <laughs> who believe that they deserve a millionaire, and he is speaking like he is Andrew Tate. Okay, I'm following. Like we just had a pretty good thing going on here with the postmodernism, trans stuff, telling the truth. Well, why don't you ask a girl her body count and see who's actually telling the truth? Mm -hmm. Quite the opposite of it. Women crave leadership and dominance from a high value man. Who is this gentleman, man? This dude is doing his thing with this, with the acting, bro. Is that Ryan? Man, dude is doing his thing. No, that's not Ryan. Because I checked out a Ryan. Hold on, that's not Ryan. Jeremiah. Jeremiah Watkins. Jeremiah Watkins. Okay, Jeremiah Watkins. That's what that is. This dude got the voice down and the temperament and everything. Okay. And I'm a high value man. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, sir. Are we just trying to get away from the whole traditional conservative value? Well, it's not obvious I shouldn't be allowed to get some side tail. It's in our innate nature to lay pipe. Even the words lay and pipe have Jungian connotation. But Jordan, you're a married man. Well, sure, you're going to get some pushback from your wife like, who is this girl? Why are you cheating on me? But what is cheating, really? What precisely do you mean by the word who? Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Jordan B. Peterson is nasty! What do you mean by me? No, really, it's a complicated problem. We're not going to solve it overnight. Then you do decide to leave me. What happens then? You end up with some soy boy who's begging you to recycle? Well, good luck with that. Well, I just feel like we're messing with a money printer here. These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> Yo, he said these hoes ain't loyal. Oh, my gracious. Come on, man. This is hilarious. This is funny okay. sometimes you find out she wasn't even yours to begin with it was just your turn and now that it's jp's turn with your girl that's a hard pill to swallow i go over that in my chapter the art of the steal yeah about that i don't know if your audience is gonna love you talking about stealing their women the girls don't belong to you anyway they're for the streets and why shouldn't top p get a taste, a taste? <laughs> and why shouldn't top p get a taste <laughs> 
This is dope, man. Only reason why it's so dope is because I would never imagine in light years that this brother would be talking like this. And now he is because, well, well, he he isn't. I would like to see Jordan B. Peterson do a reaction to this right here and give his full expression of how he feels that the guy is representing him. These women like to pretend that they're not like other girls. But I've got news for you. You're exactly like other girls. And I'll be damned if I have to pretend that you're special. Yeah, Jordan, let me ask you a quick question. Have you by chance been listening to Andrew Tate recently or Kevin Samuels? No, not familiar. Because you got a whole chapter called Maps of Meeting, which sounds like you, but then it's just a map of clubs you can meet thoughts in Miami. Okay, I'll admit it. The kids aren't listening to Peterson anymore. I'm trying to get with the times. I was on top of the world when the postmodernists were crazy and now it just feels like everyone's crazy and every man's out there for himself. The kids don't want to make their bed, they want a Bugatti. I'm tired of being the gateway to these other guys. I don't want to be the training wheels anymore. I want to be the main course. I help them get their life together and once it's together they just want to get rich and go have indiscriminate sexual escapades. Yeah, I hear you, but what if we just get back to basics? I mean, this lobster stuff was getting memed right and left and it converts to sales. The kids now think lobsters are gay. It's all wolves and sheep. They <laughs> the kids now think lobsters are gay. <laughs> Bruh! Dude, you are funny as hell. Uh, uh, Jeremiah Watkins, bro, you are, you're, you're on point, man. Thank you. And Ryan is just playing like, like he is just taken, taken, like blown away by his temperament. Like, bro, this is not the Jordan B. Peterson I was planning on talking to. Like, what's going on with you for real? And he's getting the deep side of it all. And Jordan B. Peterson is just spilling out to him that this is why I had to change up. I had to get back. I had to step back into my manhood. I had to listen to some daggone Andrew Tate and some, some Kevin Samuels. And now I'm back, baby. Now I'm back. <laughs> they want to be told to leave their fugly wives for harder ones. They're but there's fugly. nothing wrong with staying with your fugly wife. Yeah, ex exactly that. And also telling the moral relativists to screw themselves. There was a time when TikTok was flooded with my spicy quotes. Now everyone is just so much spicier. Look at what someone tweeted at me. 2016 gold. They want their takes back. They don't <laughs> even protest me at my shows anymore. Did he say they want their taint back? Bro, did he say they want their taints back or they want their takes, their tastes back? What did he say? Taste or taint? Hopefully he did not say taint. Listen, this is a kid's, sh this is a family show. It's not a kid's show. It's a family show. And we don't use that word over here, brother, at all. I just now found out what, a, what that was about, about a few years ago. I'm like, what? That mean what? There's certain words that you just I just didn't use when I was coming up. Oh, look, there I go, crying again. The commentators are going to have a field day with this one. They think crying is for women and children now. Oh, maybe I should just go full Muslim. They can't attack that. I think I speak on behalf of this publishing house when I say that we're totally fine with you just being vaguely Christian. You think so? I know so. You know, I almost shaved my head. Happy Friday, lover of Jesus and humanity. Enjoy the rest of your day, young lady. And thank you for hanging out with me. And thank you for helping me with everything earlier. You know how much I paid for this do and I just almost shaved it right off. I don't want to tweet about getting rich. I, I want to tweet about Justin Trudeau being bad. Uh, these benzos have got me all mixed up. I gotta go. All right, so he's, he's going into his bag, letting y'all know how to get how to help him out that was funny as heck I, I look forward to checking out more because um you know what i mean it just it just is what it is i want to check out more all right but i want y'all to let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below and if you have yet to hit that subscribe button please make sure you do so on your way out the door if you have yet to go to the website to support the channel and i point the wrong way the website um to support the channel by asking me about that right there and please do so you'll be you'll be uh pleasantly surprised okay all right i mean that love y'all man thank you again for clicking play and that's all i want you to do just click play and like the videos if you like the videos don't like the video if you don't like the video i mean like them love y'all